So a week on from Google's awkward retreat on Chrome and the eradication of third party cookies, which has been delayed um, by two years. Um, one of the big issues for iPhone users is, are they impacted by the current trial of this new harvesting technology? The good news is that they're not yet, but other Apple users are. Um, one quick question just to throw at you, Zach. Who the flock would use Chrome on their iPhone? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Me neither. I think if you are, if you've spent the extra dollars to go buy yourself an iPhone and you've bought it into the, you know, what happens on an iPhone stays on an iPhone, you like privacy, bringing a load of Google and Facebook apps onto that iPhone and sharing all your data is ironic in the extreme. You're absolutely right. Safari has always been a more private option than Chrome. And that has now been made even more the case with Apple's new private relay, which in essence is going to stop even Apple having the ability to combine who you are and the sites you're visiting and your online behaviors to try and what's called fingerprint you, i.e. identify you and work out how to target you with that. See, the worry is here that people don't really care if they're monitored. They need to be taught what the implications of this monitoring is. But at the same time, these advertisers need to, to make money. They are funding the platforms that we all love and love to use. And so there has to be that balance struck with whatever we're throwing at them. So I think we need to be teaching people at the same time as making them far safer uh, with their data and knowing how that it is actually going to be used on them. Absolutely right. But I think the surveillance advertising has never been more under the microscope. You know, we've seen Apple's advertising campaign, you know, with a, with a guy being followed around by 30 people looking at everything he does. So I think there is an education process that's starting to take place. What's really interesting with Apple, but also with the likes of Proton and DuckDuckGo and Brave and Mozilla and others, are using privacy as, as a USP, privacy as a marketing tool, as a means to try and differentiate themselves from, from other big tech. That, I think, is going to have more of an impact on your everyday user than, than us lot sitting on videos like this telling people that they should be safeguarding their privacy.